Let us open our Bibles today. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, beginning in verse 13. The King James Version Bible says, If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holiday, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord honorable, and shalt thou honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. Verse number 14. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Friends, there are seven days in a week. The first day is Sunday, and the seventh day is the Sabbath, Saturday. We worship God on this day from even to even, from sunset Friday, according to the scriptures, until sunset Saturday is our Sabbath. It is a delight to keep the Sabbath holy. So friends, I would like to encourage you, if you have understood the everlasting gospel in the, in the, in the book of Revelation, in the three angels' messages, I pray, friends, that you will keep, by, because you love the Lord Jesus Christ, the seventh-day Sabbath. In my time right now, it's, a, it's approaching sunset. It's a beautiful time to praise God, to sing hymns, to pray, to, to give glory to Him, and to delight yourself with your family, your spouse, your children, or whatever you can do to give glory and honor to God. Forget about the world that cares. And if it is possible, friends, that you and I can negotiate for our work if we are employed, to not work on Friday sunset, and to give time for ourselves to, to, to rest, then that will be a blessing from the Lord. But nowadays, there are many Seventh-day Adventist Christians who profess to, to keep the Sabbath. Very, very important point here. They are still at work. They are still driving. They are still rushing. That's why they're all stressed out. And they're just catching up. And when they reach their homes, not all, but they watch TV and being fed by the worldly uh, pleasures and comfort. Friends, not our own pleasure or comfort, but doing God's will. That's why we are asked to prepare. And if we can develop a skill or or do business that we can control our own time, that will be better. That will be much better. Self-sustaining so that we will not be dependent on government or empl employers or other businesses to sustain ourselves. Then we can delight ourselves into the Lord. Free your, your mind and your heart. Free our soul, I mean. Free our, our desire to accumulate wealth by having this, uh, by obeying the Word of God, by having this Word of God transform us and, and prioritize our family because the Sabbath day is for the family and worshiping God on this holiday. Today is Friday. It's about sunset in the next few minutes. And I would like to share with you the delight. Friends, let us stop working on Sabbath day. If we can turn off our gadgets or TV, that would be great. That would be honoring God. If we can just not do any worldly cares, then our minds and our hearts and our soul and our strength will be renewed and healed. May the good Lord continue to lead you as you delight in keeping the Sabbath holy. It's not only an ordinary day. That's the day which the righteousness of Christ is imparted because it's complete it's the seventh, it's perfect, and that's the time when God through Jesus Christ, God the Father through Jesus Christ, communes to us because it's our day of rest. We stop from our work, we sanctify it, we hold it by giving all glory to God. The counterfeit is the mark to be Sunday worship. So friends, let us delight on the Sabbath, the seventh day. It's approaching. Happy, happy, delightful Sabbath to you. Peace.